All right, guys. Uh, so here we're going to talk a little bit about how we do the connections when it comes to motors. Uh, some, or most of you guys are coming into the motors class right now, and it's going to be a lot of connections that you guys are going to have a little bit of difficult connecting. So I'm going to explain a little bit how some of this is right there. Uh, here you have your uh, contactors. Uh, again, you have your contactor with its overload. So this right here is a contactor overload. It's got a few auxiliaries. This happens to be an auxiliary, an auxiliary, and an auxiliary right here. So uh, these are two sets. One set of uh, over, uh, contactors, or they call that a motor starter when they have both of these together. So two sets of motor starters, uh, another set. So one, two, and then of course a breaker right here. And then your VFD, your toggle switches, your uh, 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 relay, uh, ice cube relays, a timer, and then you got your push buttons, you normally oh, uh, stop, your uh, start, your uh, your uh, reset buttons, your uh, uh, on and off uh, buttons right there. So there's your transformer, your disconnect. Inside your disconnect, of course, you have your fuses. Okay, so that's very basic, important stuff for you guys to know. Here we have our, our motors with our, with our nine leads. Again, if you guys later on, will, uh, if you guys read some of the leads, how they connect. Here you have your nine leads. You count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And of course your ground. Again, it's, it corresponds to the number that the lead have right there. So these right here uh, are down at the bottom too. So all these, what, what the school did, they decided to connect the, uh, uh, the stuff for us. Uh, they wanted to keep it nice and neat so we won't mess up a lot of these uh, uh, devices. So what they decided to do is use, use the terminal block. So where we're gonna be using a lot of the terminal blocks, I'm gonna explain to you how the terminal blocks work. Uh, so. Again, the terminal blocks, uh, you don't really have the wires coming in. Uh, it's the wire nuts really for cabinet work. We don't, we're not allowed, used to, uh, not allowed to use wire nuts, so we use uh, terminal blocks. So that's what we're going to be using right here. So uh, if you notice, uh, it has a uh, uh, orange, ye uh, I mean, uh, yellow, orange, and the gray, and then the same thing. So from this uh, yellow all the way down to the, bent, uh, the, the end of this gray corresponds to this contactor here by itself or this motor starter by itself. Uh, the, the two yellows corresponds to the A1 and A2 right here at the, in the back. So A1, A2. So that's how it works. A1, A2. A1, A2. Then you have uh, the two orange ones corresponds to these uh, overloads right here. So you have the normally, normally closed and normally open. Uh, very important to understand about normally closed and normally open. Normally closed, it is about when, uh, when uh, a wire is making contact. Uh, that's what it normally closed means. Normally open when they're not making contact. So again, most of the positions that we're going to be working with here are normally open or normally closed. So it's important you guys understand that. So here, this one happens to be our normally closed. This one happens to be our normally uh, 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 open right here. So here we have our normally uh, closed and we have our normally open positions right here. So normally closed, uh, this is the 97, 97, 98. You can read the numbers all the way out there here. They actually have them. So here it happens to be, I didn't even read them here, but see 97 and the back is 98. So 97 and 98. This one would be 90, uh, it would be 90, uh, what is this? Uh, 96 and 95. So 96 and 95. And then the rest of these are all the auxiliaries that we have right here. So we have uh, your auxiliaries. Uh, you have uh, 13, 14, 21, 22, uh, Right here we have uh, 51, 52, 63, 64, 43, uh, 44, and uh, 51 and 52. So those are the auxiliaries that we have right there. So those correspond to all this. So this would be 13, 14, 21, 22, uh, 61, 63, 64, and so on and so on. So that's how they correspond. They go in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. That's pretty much how all this is working out right here. Uh, these are, uh, it says right here, these are the, uh, the motor starters. So this, you would get, you would feed power from your main block. This is the main distribution block. You would feed your A, B, and C phase into one of these. So your black would go into here, your red would go into here, your blue would go into here. So A, B, and C phase. And then these are the outs. So this is the incoming power. See, it says motor starter out. So this would be the out power. So this would be these wires in the, bo uh, in the bottom. This is where the wires would be coming out. So A, B, and C for the first one. A, B, and C for the second one. And uh, A, B, and C here for your for your uh, 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 your breaker right there. Uh, those are uh, for that right there. Then right here you have nine sets of uh, uh, wires, uh, gray. If you see it, they also correspond to the gray ones up here too. So these are your gray wires for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are your mortar taps, like it says right here. These are your mortar taps. Unfortunately, most of them are. are uh, 
our locations are not actually labeled like this one is. This is probably the only one that's labeled like that. So, uh, but I want you guys to understand some of this right there. So this is the main block. This comes directly from the from the disconnect. Comes all three wires come in here. They go into here. Your A, B, C phase come in here. And if you notice, they have little uh, screws right here. Uh, they, these don't, the rest of them don't have any of those screws. Well, these are jumpers. That means if I have one wire here, that means I, I can come out out of this one, I can come out of this one, out of this one, out of that. So that means you can come out, you, it gives you a lot more options to be able to come out of these things. So, so this one, you come in with one power and you can go out with five. You're able to con uh, feed five things. Same thing here, same thing here. So it gives you a lot more options to be able to do that. This one is for your NVFD, this is for your out VFD. So you mean you get power from here to there and you go and you out for the VFD to your motor or whatever you're gonna do. This would be the VFD right there. Uh, here are some of the uh, uh, relays. Uh, these would be controlling these guys right here. We're gonna get into that later on, but I, I, I need you guys to understand these first. But again, these are your relays. Again, uh, uh, you have your in, and then your two outs, you normally open, normally close, in, normally open, normally close, and that's how that would work right there. Later on, we'll work with those right there. Uh, here are some uh, switches. These are some of these toggle switches right here. Uh, this would do it. So one, one in, one out, one in, one out. These just switch back to position on and off. So that's what, what's going to happen with some of these. Uh, here again, some, uh, it looks like uh, some more relays. Uh, some, uh, these are the, actually, these are the coils for the relay. So there's, there's three coils, one, two, three one two three so each of the coils for those right there and then here you have your timers all these are your timer controls this would be this time uh right here so that would be your timer control and here are your push buttons if you notice uh, uh pb1 then at the back is pb2 pb3 pb4 uh pb21 pb23 and then so that means it's this guy's right here so uh this guy is a normally open normally uh uh, normally closed positions in normally uh, if you go in to your normally closed and you go out normally closed or it has a normally open from in and out so both of these have four positions right there with all that right there uh, this is what we call the transformer this is actually the connections these are these connections coming down here so that's your power for your 120 connection this one was your three phase connection this is 208 this is your 120 connections for those. That's how we feed two wires from here to give power to this, to the transformer comes back out and hits right there. So every time you guys are gonna be using 120, you're gonna be coming out of these two wires right there. Again, you have your grounding. Of course, you have a 120 uh, switch in case you need to connect something on there. But again, uh, I need you guys to understand how some of this stuff works. Again, so uh, this guy corresponds to this, this corresponds to that. Uh, this corresponds to power coming in. These correspond to each one of these going out to the main power. Uh, your main block, your motors, uh, your VFDs, your uh, your uh, uh, relay coils, your uh, your coils for all those right there, your uh, your push buttons. Uh, again, uh, all these right there. So it's important that you guys at least have a basic understanding of all this. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys look at the video and uh, give you guys a little bit of a uh, quick rundown of how some of the stuff is. Because when we come in, you guys are going to be lear learning and doing a lot of this stuff. It's a lot of information right right from the get go. So. Uh, again, uh, and we'll be keep we, we'll keep doing videos uh, to help you guys get uh, come along. So this is the very first one. I want you guys to understand about how uh, the stuff gets connected. How uh, you know because it is it's going to be a lot of info later on. Now, uh, uh, here's an example of some of the stuff that we, how we connected. Uh, again, uh, on the on the contactor, uh, you have uh, A1, A2. They have we have A1, A2. So here, what they did is. Uh, you have on the auxiliaries, uh, 13, 21, 22, 23. That's exactly what was there. Uh, then you have 13, 14. That means you connect your wire in one wire here and a wire goes out. So you go into 13, you go out of 14. You go into 21, you go out of 22. Go into 51, go out of 32. So uh, each one of this is how you connect it. So it's normally open, normally closed, normally closed, normally open, and so on and so on. And that's how all this works out right there. So uh, again, uh, uh, important for you guys to begin to understand uh this is how we read a lot of this stuff right here we have the single line diagrams uh you go from the transformer into a, a, a button i'm going to explain that to you later on i want to push it too much i just needed you guys to understand about that right there so i'll give another video regarding this in a little bit but anyways for now that's it for so hopefully you guys understand that video thank you